So whoever it was that asked me if you could bow fish with the glad, the answer is absolutely. It shoots those bolts all the way through these fish. What is going on, everybody? I have spent the whole day scouting out places to bow fish, and after what seems like weeks, the fish are finally starting to push back up into shallow water. And I'm gonna start off this year with the Vlad tactical because somebody sent me a message right after I did that hog hunting video and asked if you could bow fish with this, and my answer was no, I didn't think you could because the magazine is not detachable. And I took my slingshot fishing arrows that I normally use and other fishing arrows that I had, and they wouldn't fit between the magazine and the rail. So I, I didn't think you could bow fish with it, or at least I couldn't at the time. What I did was I took one of the slingshot arrows, a drill and some sandpaper, and I just filed that sucker down until it decided it wanted to fit between the, uh, the rail and the magazine. So this is kind of a pain in the neck to to uh, cock because it has a safety mechanism on there that won't allow you to cock it without a bolt. So what you have to do is open the magazine up, put your fishing arrow in, and close the magazine. Then you cock the bow, and you have to take the arrow back out. Obviously it won't shoot like this because the string would get all tangled up in the magazine. So you take your arrow back out and you put it back in through the muzzle. There we go. Then once you get your air back in, you close the magazine and you are ready to go. So the message I got asked if it was possible to bow fish with the Vlad. They didn't ask if it was easy. But that wasn't too hard. So then you put her off safety. And what I did was I zip tied a rod handle and I attached a reel to it. And we should be good to go. This should be just like the rest of the, the uh, bow fishing rigs I got. Yeah, we're in business. That shoots super hard. Super hard. So. All right. So that's what we're going to be fishing with. Let me uh, let me get everything together, and tomorrow we'll head back down to the lake, and I'll show you what we're dealing with down there. We'll do some bow fishing. All right, we've made it out here. Fixing to try the Vlad out, but let me show you what we got going on real quick. The carp and buffalo are starting to spawn, but we've had a lot of rain and the, the water's high. It's up into the brush. So the fish that I'm seeing are chasing each other around in this thick stuff. So what I think I'm going to do is set up here in these two cutouts and just wait and see if some fish swim by. They're chasing each other. They're the males are pushing the females or vice versa. I'm not sure how it goes, but I've seen them chasing each other and they'll push each other right up on the bank. So I'm just gonna stake this area out. And if one or two does swim by up here close, we'll be waiting to take a shot at them. So let me get the Vlad out and get it all set up and we'll get ready to go. Oh, they're right here somewhere. I had the dang safety on when they come rolling up here. I forgot to take it off. Then I just tried to hell marry one in there. It's so sporadic. We'll give it a few more minutes and see if they'll swim back by. They're spawning for sure. The water was a little lower. We'd be in business. The water was low enough they weren't in these trees. Oh man. I stood over there until I think I truly understand how herring feels. It's doable. There's fish over there. But I'm gonna move up the creek, see if I can find something a little more doable. Because standing there waiting on them's not really my style. I'm gonna go see if I can find some shallow water that's just a little easier to navigate. Maybe holding a few more fish. I can't tell for sure, but I think that that's a gar floating there. It's either a gar or a big old stick. That's the first gar I've seen on top of the water this spring. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot at it, even though it's way out there. Hey, 
That was a gar. But my arrow hung up. See if we can get a little closer to one. Oh, I got one! I got one! Oh man, that's what I'm talking about. That's another gore. Just stood out here for a second and swam up on me. Oh no, it broke! Oh, the line broke! Dang! Oh, that's what I get for jacking around. It put that arrow all the way through him and it was hanging out on the other side. I seen it, his scales were. His scales must have cut it. Dad gun, that was the only arrow I'd rigged up too. All right, let me run home and rig up a couple more arrows and we'll try this again. Oh, I got lucky. I got to feeling around. I knew that arrow shot all the way through the gar and I thought, man, if my line broke, I bet he left the arrow here. So I got to feeling around in the water and I found it. What are the chances? I'm gonna rig this sucker back up and see if we can actually get a fish in. Got another drawer. We're going all the way out of the water. All right, I just drug that one up on the bank. Look at here. Can get it done with the Vlad. So whoever it was that asked me if you could bow fish with the Vlad, the answer is absolutely. It shoots those bolts all the way through these fish. So, man, if y'all hung with me this far, I sure appreciate it. I'm gonna get this fish off here and, and we're, we're gonna, <laughs> I don't even know what we're gonna do next. I'm excited. I've been at this for hours today. So y'all don't forget to subscribe and thanks a million for watching. We'll catch you next time.